Bonjour friends, good evening. So today I was like, why don't I do a like um, GCSE tips video for like year 10s and year 11s actually. Also, yes, I know um, we're not doing GCSE, so I can't really talk as well. Like, I did make a video about this, like, last year. I was like, exam season, woo! And then um, I was like, you know, I'm not actually doing GCSE, so I can't really talk. But then it's the same, again, like, applies this year because I'm not doing GCSEs. But I still know how to survive school, and I actually have a lot of tips for that. So how to survive school for year 10 and 11. Ooh, I'm very sorry for this state let's just get let's just let's just get started because I have like a lot of tips my first tip probably the most important one is time management the only way you can stay on top of your work is if you actually like manage your time and I was really 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 bad at this like throughout last year I only started getting better at it like <laughs> the last term obviously you need to make sure that you have enough time to do your homework and just do everything else that you want to do as well and also time to relax my like biggest tip especially because i was like so busy throughout like whole 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 thing make sure that you understand it while it's being taught because if you do not when it comes to revising you will have to teach yourself like the whole thing all over again and it will literally like you can't do that okay like i don't care how clever you think you are you better fucking learn it when you that was aggressive i'm really sorry you're better off just learning it when you get taught it okay also i would just like to say like just this is as like a little side mini point thing because it's not really like a massive point but like i don't care um it doesn't matter if you don't do well in the, like an end of unit test like i'm not even kidding beginning of maths i did my maths a year early and i got nine at the beginning of maths i was in year nine the whole of year nine actually i think i was getting so bad like honestly um under 50 percent in a lot of them <laughs> and there was only like one where i got like a full mark it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter like, don't need to do well in every single interview test if you haven't had enough time to revise like don't stress about it like just make sure that you understand it make sure you know how to revise like how you learn best because if you don't know this like you are gonna get like nowhere it doesn't matter how much like how much time you put into working if you are not actually learning it and if you're not actually like if you don't actually know it then there's no point in doing that much time the way you revise changes like literally everything next thing to know to link to that is to work smarter and not harder like it's the same thing like if you work for like four hours on one topic and you still don't understand it because of the way of like you're revising like that's so useless all my days the next thing practice papers cannot stress this enough especially for like especially maths and sciences as well but like maths a hundred percent let me show you all the past papers I did for maths. Like, this is how I got a nine a year early. To be honest, I don't even know why I've kept these, but... Okay, so not all of these are, like, maths past papers. This whole bucket is not just maths past papers. But, like, everything... So, not this stuff. All of this here is past papers. Like, cannot stress enough how much you need to do past papers for, like maths and sciences especially as i said but even just for any subject most subjects past papers are like a must another thing if you are a very busy person like revising every single week is not going to be realistic like if you say to yourself um like i said this to myself okay like it's normal but if you say to yourself like for year 11 i'm gonna do like a couple hours a week revising did not happen at all i did no revision until mox week and even after mox week i was like to myself i'm gonna do revision every single week like up until gcse's did not happen like you were just too busy to do that i like unless you have so much spare time on your hands unless you are like someone who just like goes to school comes home and does nothing unless you are like that person which there's nothing wrong with it because obviously you have so much time to like work like you you can get clever clever but like if unless you are that person like you need to like realize you're not going to be able to do that like it's not realistic you're not going to be able to do that and there's no point in trying to make yourself do it or make promises to yourself to do it and then you feel bad for not doing it because it's not going to happen i 100 percent 
like it's you won't it won't happen okay <laughs> it just won't it just won't use your holidays to obviously relax because you're not on school you have a lot of time but plan out your days like make sure you have enough time to or enough days to work and make sure you have enough days to relax the summer holiday between year 10 and 11 long summer holiday right if you're doing no work throughout that whole thing everything like you've learned is just gonna go like you're gonna end up with like nothing okay so like you need to keep your brain working basically i'm not saying like work every single day but like if you do like the smallest bit every single week it does it what like it's just important okay um another thing that helped me was exercise you guys probably know by now like i love exercise but even if like you don't like exercise just go on a walk okay like i don't want to hear that you're too lazy to do it just go on a fucking walk you weirdos um no but like being serious exercise it's just good for you okay i know you've heard this like ten thousand times already but just exercise okay um this kind of links to what i said earlier i think i don't actually know i don't even know anymore okay shush um but make a revision timetable and stick to it like because it organizes your time and as i said if you're a busy person you need to organize your time like that is one of the most important things you need to do because otherwise you won't be able to get your work done make sure you've got enough time to revise each each subject and obviously some subjects will probably need more time than others so just make sure you're you know what kind of you need to work on if that makes sense i just i don't know i don't know um enough go out with your friends okay just make time to go out with them like you can still go out with them and still have a productive day like it doesn't matter you can even go to the library with them and study if you're worried about not getting work done but like you can't just keep up keep yourself up in like your study your bedroom or wherever you're working or revising you can't just stay there and do nothing even in these times like where we're all self-isolated and everything you're just calling your friends like just do it um art students or like students i don't really know what other subjects are like this but like if you have a lot of um coursework or whatever that you need to do stay on top of it <laughs> you just need to stay on top of it like you need to be doing it you need to like constantly be producing and like make sure that you get your assignments in on time that's it <sighs> this is kind of little bit contradictory to like what i said before but start revising early and what i mean by this is not like revision like as i said you probably won't have enough time to revise each week even though everyone says to do it um when i say start revising early i mean for end of unit tests and everything you sort of need to make sure that you understand it that's like another chance for you to make sure that you understand the um topic that you've just learned um and it's just it's just important okay like it's so important um use the holidays as i said like they are so important but like if you get your um end of unit tests back and like mocks back and everything like make sure you know where you went wrong make sure like you know the um areas that you need to improve on and then like when it comes to revising for mocks or for the actual thing you know which areas you need to work harder on and understand more of keep your phone away when you are studying like it's so important like so 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 important because you will get like so distracted like this was me i used to think like oh i'm not gonna get distracted it'll be fine i can just sit like at my desk with my phone like literally right next to me and obviously like your phone screen lights up whenever you get a notification even though my phone is on silent it lights up so i was always checking it when i was working and that was not good so what i do now i take some headphones connect them to my phone bluetooth obviously i play some like lo-fi hip-hop beats which like massively help me like revise or learn or study or whatever so if you're someone who gets distracted easily i would suggest listening to like lo-fi music or like classical music any music without any words in basically because 
um it actually helps your brain to focus on that task like whatever you're doing um rather than like have your mind wandering and then i put it across from my room like on my bedside shelf table desk thing i don't know what it's called um and then the last thing i don't even know why i put this thing but it kind of just makes sense for people like who travel a lot who um i don't know have a longer journey to school or if you travel a lot like on the weekends or whatever there's a lot of traveling time like for me when i go to sports fixtures there's like a lot of time spent just traveling like because of school sports fixtures there's a lot of time where we will be taken out of school in like the afternoon or something so i'll be missing my afternoon lessons and obviously i'm gonna have to do the catch up from those lessons on top of the homework that i may have got from other lessons so what i do is i try and take my homework with me and i'll do it in like the travel time um because we have like such like we've got we travel for ages like we, we went somewhere like that was like three hours away once okay not three hours it was like two hours use your time wisely because i know i used to be like this i was like oh i'm traveling i can't really do work and then like it'd come I, i'd like come back from traveling i'd be like okay it's already 9 p.m like what work can i do now do you know what i mean so it's like it is important and also another tip which i just thought of i know my innovative brain um also you need to make sure that you know which time that you work best at so for me it's usually after dinner and i can go on until like 12 p.m and that's only when 12 p.m 12 a.m and that's when i'll start feeling like tired um but i know for a lot of people like um they work best in the mornings or whatever if you know what time you work best make sure you work in that time um anyway guys so thanks so much for watching please make sure to like comment and subscribe um I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> genuinely i'm concerned for myself like i i genuinely am concerned for myself i don't know what i'm doing um anyway Thanks for watching guys and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye my little friends.